Well, hello, and thank you for your interest in Gray Orange. I want to spend a few minutes today talking to you about our goods to person picking process. I'd like to start the introduction by talking about what you can't see in the video. Our solutions are run by our software, Gray Matter, which is a warehouse foundational system that drives automation. It resides between your WMS and our automation, optimizing the outbound picking process or other functions that you're solving, either with gray orange automation or other automation products. Uh, today, we're going to talk more specifically about our goods to person picking system. What you can see behind me is the standard gray orange pick station. And if you look at our operator, around him is an aluminum frame on which there's mounted a camera. The robots are delivering the mobile storage unit to the pick station, and he is interacting with the system via the monitor that's next to him and the scanner that he's holding in his hand. When the products are presented to him, the camera will illuminate the location where he needs to pick the product, and the screen will tell him the storage location as well as the quantity that he needs to pick. The robot waits for him to complete that task before carrying away the mo mobile storage unit and thus then delivering his next pick assignment. After the item is picked from the storage location, he's directed to the put to light station next to him where he is placing that product and completing the action by pressing the button in the put wall to indicate that the item has been located in its destination. There are alternatives here that you can consider. Well, in our standard configuration here today, we're using the put wall and the items are continually placed into that put wall until the order is complete and then a separate operator is notified to come and retrieve those items from the back of the put wall to take them to the packing station. Alternatively, of course, you can use an automated takeaway solution or a conveyor or any other method of delivering the orders from the pick engine to your packing station or whatever the next step is in your outbound process, even quality control or any other aspect of the operation. I want to spend just a few minutes talking to you about goods to person as a concept. This is a solution strategy that's been around for a long time, uh, made famous, of course, by our friends at Amazon Robotics. Here at Gray Orange, we've further refined and developed the technology to really optimize the outbound picking solution uh, as it relates to goods to person. Conceptually, what's going on here is our picker is standing stationary in his station. The robots are presenting product to him where he's being directed what items to pick and place for each order that is being filled through this station. So you can see the efficiencies and economics of this strategy in that all of the time currently spent walking in a more manual environment or RF-based picking environment, even batch picking or discrete order picking, all of that walking is eliminated with a goods to person concept. We work hard with our clients to make sure that you think through how the inventory should be stored and maintained inside our system in order to optimize the outbound fulfillment. Just like in a traditional manual environment, the slotting strategy or how you store product in your pick faces really drives the efficiency of the picking process itself. Our software has the analytical ability to pre present the information to you on skew affinity, skew velocity, uh, demand over time, seasonal, etc., and then takes that into consideration when you're doing the put away process to our solution post receiving. So that when the mobile storage unit is presented to our picker, he has the maximum number of picks to make from that MSU before it moves away, thus driving the units picked per hour to a dramatically higher level than you would achieve in a manual environment. Uh, often two, three, or four times the pick rate that can be achieved in a manual environment. And in a truly optimized environment where the robots are queued to the pick stations, each mobile storage unit is presented as soon as the one before it exits the station. So there's constant activity by the picker 
and the entire outbound side of the operation with a continuous flow. I'd like to spend just a minute talking to you about some of the use cases for good to person. As we're finding, while we work with more and more clients, that there's some really creative utilizations of this technology. Initially, a lot of the use cases involved e-commerce fulfillment from a regional e-com DC. But what we're finding today is because of the technology, there are so many other use cases that can be readily supported. Uh, some of the early ones, the returns process for e-commerce, where we're actually dealing with the residual returned units and actually storing them inside goods to person and using them for the initial point of fulfillment on new e-com orders and the sortation and delivery of those residual units. Outside the regional distribution center, we're seeing a lot of demand for this product in micro fulfillment centers or dark stores where you don't have the vertical storage capacity that you might have for other solutions. A goods to person solution when implemented on a ground floor opportunity, as you can see, will only use the first 14 or 15 feet of the clear height, allowing you to make use of this portable technology in a dark store, in a back room, in a micro fulfillment center, in addition to the large distribution centers. In the large DC environment, a lot of our clients have taken advantage of our ability to run elevators and vertical lift devices so that you can build a mezzanine capturing the full vertical storage capacity of the facility by having our robots functioning across multiple levels of the building. It's also easy, of course, to integrate this technology with reserve storage technology. So if you have an ASRS solution, be it robotic or manual, you can feed from that ASRS into our put stations for stocking replenishment inventory into the goods to person solution for fulfillment. We have users utilizing this technology for e-com fulfillment, as I said. We're using it for store replenishment of both full cartons as well as unit level replenishment or even pallet-based storage strategies. We have other customers that are using it for their wholesale channels, for uh, any aspect where they're consolidating orders across channels, etc. Uh, it's very flexible, very portable technology. Uh, we've had multiple instances where there's been an initial deployment strategy related to um, a proof of concept in a larger facility that is then replicated across the network very rapidly in smaller micro fulfillment e-com based facilities. So the technology can be as innovative and as flexible as you need it to be. As you think through new storage strategies, new fulfillment strategies, ways to exceed your customers' expectations, this is a great technology to keep in mind, in particular for that e-com or omni-channel kind of an experience where you're looking to leverage that inventory across your entire set of customers and take advantage of rapid, accurate order fulfillment.